How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Alright, so we got to the village of Gi, and we're gonna find out a little bit more of uh, the lore of this place, because this is not in the original, so we have no idea what to expect or what we're gonna find out. Well, we gotta go and follow Yuffie, and uh, I guess there's a lot of disposition that we're gonna head through here. Like, we can't even zoom out, because this isn't anywhere in the world. That's very funny. Okay, let's go. Welcome to our domain, children of the planet. <laughs> Y'all hear that just now? Our flesh is gone, yet our spirits are condemned to linger. Outsiders such as we are unwelcome. Forever denied the planet's embrace. I feel for you. Can only imagine how tough that's been. My kin now dwell within these effigies. I beseech you, lend them your ears. Long has it been since they have had an audience. to the planet, and so she rejects them. Because you have to come from the life stream to return to it. Which means... These dudes can't die, right? <gasps> They're invincible! I'm not sure that's something to celebrate. Being stuck as spirits with no hope of release sounds like a fate worse than death. As if you know anything about dying. Uh, I mean... Are you even really alive? <laughs> <laughs> Another stuck spirit, perhaps? We shall not rest till the materia is ours. Wait, what materia are they looking for? You and me both. Alright, so my current party are the ladies. Okay, now I feel like Aerith is leading the charge in terms of affection, so I'm a little concerned. Tifa, gotta pick up the slack here. Yuffie also caught up, so there's a little concern there too. Oh my god, what? Slash. Why don't you leave the back? Deal with that. I'll show you what I can do. Oh my god, wait, Tifa got petrified. <laughs> I didn't realize Tifa got petrified. Okay. Moving on. Okay, that wasn't exactly a pretty fight. <laughs> The hell is this soundtrack? It was our fate to be spurned by the planet forevermore. Thus did we resolve to forge our own path to salvation. With materia, you mean? We all to lay hands on the materia of peace. Materia of peace? What are they talking about? The 
these are all weak against fire. Forsaken by the Cetra, that's what he said. I took so much damage. Okay, way to steal a thundercloud. <laughs> okay. Are these guys our enemy? Because the way I see it, their end is uh, the black materia and destroying the world. That, that's the end I see for them. Because if that's what they want, then yeah, they're not really friendlies. Our ultimate salvation is cessation. It is nothingness. Our wish is not to exist. <laughs> okay, so they just want to die, basically. It'll be the end of everything for them. He's up there. About but I got a sinking feeling. Think we probably don't want to overstay our welcome here. It's hard to feel at ease around folks whose only desire is death. And if the planet won't let them have it, well, who's to say they won't let the planet have it? Save uh, me! <laughs> sure. Aww. Don't you think someone responsible like me ought to hang on to that materia? So it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. I think we shouldn't get involved at all, Lassie. Little late for that. <laughs> what do you think he wants us to do for him? Oh. So it is the black materia. Oh my god. Whatever that materia is, we can't let them have it. No matter how much they want it. Don't know how far we can let this go. But for now, we play along. You sure they can't hear you? <laughs> okay, we gotta fight one more. There is a sorcerer. Okay, they resurrect. Okay, explaining their elemental weakness with magic, attacking them. They evade all basic attacks and offensive abilities, but will become unable to do so while pressured. Casting spells or resurrecting. 
Okay, so we gotta take out the... Yeah, we gotta take out the sorcerers first. How does Aerith not have cure? You're kidding me, right? Okay. Okay. Okay, let me heal up. And then let me throw in an ether. Just for good measure. Where are my ethers? There you are. 20. Okay, that should be enough. Now let's go. Unless, of course, there was like a bench. Or there's a bench up. I doubt it, though. Those not born of the life stream can never join its flow. One cannot return to that from which one did not arise. Wait, so... And so our souls sought refuge here. Huh. Yet idleness brought no solace. Our days, a penance imposed by the planet for the sin of our existence. And now... Our only wish is to be freed from this prison, to be granted true release. Huh. Do we have to fight him? From the planet, we claim the greatest of materia, a most sacred treasure and imbued it with our desire for freedom. After an eternity, the materia began to stir, and thus did we rejoice, knowing that salvation was within our grasp. We rejoiced, so convinced were we that our prayers for release had not been in vain. Yet the loathsome Cetra trespassed upon our lands and stole the treasure that would grant us deliverance. What? Therefore, we ask that you retrieve it. The Black Materia, key to our oblivion. Please, it alone can liberate us from this endless dream. Huh, elements of Final Fantasy X. The Gi cannot rest until our sacred treasure has been restored to us. Moreover, in redressing the crime of her ancestors, the Cetra may help us to let go our ancient grudge. Where is it? It is said the orb lies within a place of Cetra worship. 
A place of Setra worship? Or temple? You know what? I have an idea. At least, I think I do. Forgive me, Hollow One, if I regard you with suspicion. Now hold on there. I'm friend to one and all, thanks to my crystal ball. No matter your need, I have the right read. <laughs> He's strange, but you can trust him. Really. You sure about that? By who? I trust you will return our materia to its rightful home. Only you can end our torment. The next morning. Uh, I guess we're back? Yeah. Whoa, it's a sealed they cave. Need to get moving. Right. I'll make you proud, Dad. Just wait. All right, let's get out of here. Is there it's like a see you Oh, there. Allow me to escort you to fellow Bugenhagen. Please, this way. Wait, what? <laughs> there was a path here all along? <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. Those undead suckers actually think we're gonna give them back their materia. They called it their salvation or whatever. But to me, it sounded more like something with the potential to wreak some serious havoc. Nope. No way in hell are we letting them have it. Can't let him have it either. Him? Sephiroth. Did no one else sense him? Uh, no. You're the resident expert. If you say Sephiroth was there, I'll believe you. Wait, wait, wait. So, are you saying Sephiroth's after the Black Materia? Too? They're really discussing this in front of the assistant, huh? You assume he is. Oh, come on! Let's go, let's go! Can't let anyone get between me and my Materia! So, Kate said, I gotta ask, how do you know about the Setra Temple anyway? Uh, well, like, uh, I wouldn't say I knew about it exactly. Not directly, anyway. What's that supposed to mean? I just recall some document or other discussing its existence. If we can get to a Shinra terminal, I should be able to find it again. A terminal, huh? They set any up here? I think so. But I bet old Boogie will know for sure. Bo oh, Bugenhagen. Old Boogie. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Thank heavens you're alive. I feared you might have returned to the planet. Oh, come on. We both know you didn't need to worry about me. After all, I am the son of Seto the Watcher. Wow. Change tune. Forgive me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But if I recall correctly, Shinra should have set up a transmission terminal here in Cosmo Canyon. So, where is it? Oh, well, what did become of that thing? Well, you can see his hands. Ah, I mean, yes. his arm. Now I remember. I was so fascinated by the technology it employed, I did some tinkering. Uh-oh. Some tinkering, I say. Though it was quite a lot. But now it serves a decidedly more practical purpose. You've got to be kidding me! Oh, well, <laughs> do you know about a Setra temple? A temple, you say? If you mean a place where they worshipped gods, none exist. The Setra never engaged in such practices. I didn't know that. Maybe it was referred to as such by someone ignorant of their culture. If instead it is a site of importance to the Setra that you seek, Texts do speak of one, and of the pains taken to conceal it. So, it does exist? 
Oh, ho, ho. Perhaps, though I know not where it is. Huh? And even should you find it, I would urge caution. They were a star-crossed people. To follow in their footsteps is to court tragedy. <sighs> However, the rewards may yet outweigh the risks. You must bring every one of your senses to bear. For then no secret will elude you, however well hidden. And when you return home, I hope you'll share your discoveries with me. Fellow Bugenhagen! What is it? I'm a little busy here. Another man in a black robe has come. What should we do? Well now, a friend of yours? Not exactly. Where'd you see him? Oh, uh, the village gate. We should check it out. Yeah. Let's go. All right, so traversing the settlement, if you speak to one of the, yeah, those guides and they will escort you to various locations around the settlement and a, a privileged service only offered to guests of fellow Bugenhagen. I don't like how he's called fellow here. Naraki used to call him uh, grandpa. That one felt a little bit more uh, appropriate. Not because he's old or not only because he's old, but you know, it. He raised Nanaki, so... Alright, here we go. I could have taken the fast travel, but I love the theme so much that I just want to run it. Okay, what the heck? Nanaki. Is this man okay? He is, albeit rather weak. Not sure why though. I know Mako poisoning when I see it, and this isn't it. Nebo. I'm... Nebo. I'm... Guess we know where we're going. Tifa and I grew up. Oh, of course. Nibelheim had a terminal. I bet my whiskers on it. It, uh, had a terminal. Cloud, remember when you told Gein to attack back there? That I might be weird, but you can trust me. Hey, well, even if you were lying, I'm going to prove to you that you can trust me. That I'm on your side. Okay. It's not that. We should go. Wait! Wait. You're talking about heading to Nibelheim from here? There's no roads you can take far as I know. Maybe we can't go by land. Sid! Where are you? But by air. Meaning we'll need smoke. Right then. Back to the airstrip we go. Alright. Now, time to complete a bunch of the other stuff. Ah, oh, shit. And relatively close to you. Oh, God. While the signal is on the weaker side, it may serve as a good place to start. I'll send you the coordinates right away. All right. So, Cosmo Canyon doesn't exactly have, like, uh, a lot of stuff to do. Um, but first things first, we are going to go back to the community board. I want to pick up the quests. And then we'll work on the uh, world intel based on where the uh, the quests land us. Okay. I hope we get a Tifa quest here. Skywatcher's planetary assembly. P the importance of Calamitous Ruin have been sighted in the Vale of Late. Dreadful fiends whose very presence heralds doom, but all is not yet lost. For in times past, we have observed 
celestial phenomena indicative of the Great Mother's triumph over such forces. We request assistance with spotting and photographing said phenomena. Seek out the mentor Caesar for more information. Okay, fellow Bugenhagen, it's been entirely too long since I've done some old-fashioned field work. I'd like to correct that. Unfortunately, I seem to have misplaced my tools. Drop by and lend a hand, won't you? All right, let's do all of these first. What level am I? I'm level 39, so we're just barely a high enough level for all of these. Wait, where is this thing? Bugenhagen's request. All right, that's up there. And then this one is Skywatcher's request. Okay, that means we have to head up. We head up through here, I assume. Yeah, the torch elevator. Let's go back. Oh, there's Tifa. Where's Aerith? Where's Aerith? Oh, there. She's behind Barret. Barret is huge! <laughs> Completely eclipsed Aerith. Okay. This is Bugenhagen's request, uh, but we're going to the Skywatchers first. That should be here, right? Okay, there. Excuse me, is something wrong? Ah, you again. Nanaki's companions, yes? Forgive me, I've yet to introduce myself. I am Caesar, one of the canyon's mentors. Now then, to answer your question, rather vile fiends have been sighted in the veil. Ones believed to be portents of calamitous Portents. Really? Oh god, it's another Aerith quest! God damn it. In times long since past. But always has our planet risen to the challenge, brought her might to bear and staved off disaster. It is through this unique celestial event that the planet provides us with proof of her victory. As you can see from these photographs, once the cataclysm has been averted and our world stands triumphant, Gloriously resplendent comets grace the heavens. Huh. I don't see anything like that around here. Indeed. Though it should be said that none of these pictures were taken close by, but rather far from <laughs> our current location. <laughs> okay. Perhaps we simply cannot see the miracles from here. The falling stars may have left their marks in the skies elsewhere. We're gonna go look for them, right? As if you'd ever take no for an answer. Truly? You would do this for us? It would be a great weight off our shoulders were you to find them. If you are serious, I suggest visiting the three locations in which the fiends were last seen. The signs we seek may show themselves there. Here, use these reference materials and this recording instrument. Okay. Photograph the comets you spot. Though try to ensure your pictures match ours. Okay. Okay, this seems like a hassle. Alright, let's head to Bugenhagen. Oh, wait, can we just, uh... Can we just head there? Yes, I do. Um... Yeah. Let's go there. Okay, Bugenhagen, we're here. Oh, he's here. Uh, what are you doing? Nothing much. We're preparing for field work. Haven't performed any in quite some time. At the moment, I'm trying to hunt down my tools. I must have buried them awfully well. But well, field work? At your age? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe you ought to let us handle it. <laughs> They're treating me like I'm 
some invalid and the very picture of health. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> What I mean? Just swallow your pride and let us take care of whatever it is. You stay and rest. <sighs> well, I suppose I should take you up on the offer while you're still here. Very well. I'll let you assist me. Good. Okay. Now, lay it on us. Thank <laughs> you. Something has been troubling me as of late. Take a look at this field report from my previous survey of the life springs in our local region. Are you sure this is accurate? It was at one point, but life springs are mutable. They rarely remain in one location for long. Indeed, such events move periodically. Nothing unusual about that in the least. Okay. However, it is not their positions which trouble me. Rather, what the survey team has reported. Perhaps this fact-finding expedition of ours will clear things up. I would have you visit this site first. There, measure the Marco frequency using this meter of mine. All right, we'll do. Okay, press that to view Buganagan's field report and L1 to examine the documents more closely and locate the Life Spring Survey Station. All right. Gotcha. Okay, so... Actually, let's head to this... Let's head to that life spring first. 